The following is a production of Learfield Sports. The Badger Hockey Digest, presented by Charter Communications. Welcome to the Badger Hockey Digest, brought to you by Charter. Wisconsin home to take on Minnesota State this weekend. I'm Brian Posick, the radio voice of the Badgers, joined by head coach Mike Eaves. Wisconsin last weekend went to Mariucci Arena and played the third-ranked team in the country. Had a 2-2 tie on Friday night. Badgers played very well Saturday, 1-1 after 2 before the Gophers scored about six minutes into the third and added an empty netter for a 3-1 win. But, Mike, to go up to that building and play the third-ranked team in the country and to play a power play that was ranked number one in the WCHA, you equipped yourselves pretty well. Well, uh, it's very nice of you to, to point out the positives, Brian. <laughs> I think that uh, when you uh, – on, on Friday night, uh, it was a very competitive game and uh, – we felt we got a little bit of the short end of the refereeing, but we didn't let that hurt us. We we battled through some uh, adversity. We lost two players during the game, two of our high-end forward players, and uh, our guys found a way to kill off many minutes of penalties. Our goaltending was excellent, and we felt really good about the way we played Friday night. The uh, the tie almost felt like a win. And on Saturday, uh, we, we felt as a, as, a, as a staff, we weren't as good as we needed to be. We hung around, but never really gave, gave ourselves a chance to win. And when you lose a game like that, that's tight and you don't play well. I know we as a coaching staff, uh, we were a little disappointed, to be quite honest with you. So, uh, and that was something that we expressed with our team yesterday. We had some really, we call it Dutch Uncle video, which is uh, the truth in video. Uh, done in a way that they understand that we're not we're not pointing pointing fingers at anybody indirectly, but we need to get better here. We either are not in condition on a Saturday night, or we don't know the systems we play. And and quite frankly, we're going to make sure that we cover those bases and 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 answer the call the next time we have a chance to play. So, I, I think it was a real good, honest talk with our kids. And you know, quite frankly, we are handling a lot. We we with losing Billy and uh, with the Curdilly situation, Zangerle. These are all reasons they're not excuses and I think that's something that our players have to come to grips with and that's why we had the dead chuckle talk yesterday. Yeah. Mike, you know as well as I do, too, that most of the time after games or after series, players talk with their parents or their friends. If you win, you're probably, they make it out to be better than you really are. If you lose, you're not as bad as that, yeah. that loss. But yeah. you have to be honest with these no. players, right? You have to be or you're not going to get any better. And that's what we did yesterday through video. And we went out and had a, a spirited, uh, pretty sharp practice. and. You know, that, that consistency button just needs to be something that we need to push more often with our group. Yeah. Unfortunately, right now, Wisconsin's not putting the puck away as much as it wants to. You know, there's no, I mean, guess hard work is one thing that can maybe help yeah. you put the puck away a little bit more. Are there any other things that you can do? Well, we're, we're not the high-end team that we have been in the past. We have to manufacture runs. We have to manufacture goals by going to the hard areas, getting uh, tip-ins and rebounds. And that's something that we have been emphasizing. We will continue to do so. Yeah, Michael Mersh leads the Badgers with six goals, had two on Friday night. And also Friday night, a stellar performance in goal by sophomore Landon Peterson, 41 saves. He was pretty sharp. He was very good. And, uh, you know, that's that's what we needed. To, to get a point in there against that team, we needed a performance like that. And, and uh, you know, he'll get another chance to play here soon. All right. When we come back, we'll look a little bit ahead to the future next year and beyond. Also, this coming weekend against Minnesota State. You're watching the Badger Hockey Digest brought to you by Charter. Football, Wi-Fi, wings. Now that's a business plan. Glad you like it. Question is, how are you liking Charter Business? Well, our internet's a lot more powerful than with phone company DSL. It can actually run all this now. Plus, we've got reliable phone and we're saving like crazy. Another everyday victory. Let me see your end zone dance. No, I, I don't dance. All right, let's just do a flying chest bump and call it a day. To save over 25% versus the phone company and get up to a $500 gift card, call now. 
Back on the Badger Hockey Digest, Brian Posick and head coach Mike Eves. The Wisconsin Badgers signed three young men to national letters of intent for next season during the early signing period. The headliner is Grant Bessie, the preseason player of the year in the state of Minnesota and a member of Benilde St. Margaret's AA state championship team from a year ago. This young man is a high-end player in high school. We'll see how he transformed to college. Well, he had, has had great success in high school as a junior, and uh, it's interesting that their team is playing an independent high school schedule this, this year, so they all play a tougher schedule, and, uh, and I think that'll be good for Grant to test himself against a more consistent, higher-level team in high school, and then uh, he'll come in next fall, and he's got things you don't teach. Uh, he can put the puck away. Uh, you know, we talk about it, that's something we need this year, but mm -hmm. he'll be able to provide us for next year. We're looking forward to having him in. Yeah, that's Grant Bessie. Another forward coming in next season is Corbin McGuire from my home state of Connecticut. Tell us about him. Well, Corbin's one of those, uh, well, in our, in our tenure here, we haven't had too many kids from out east, but he's got roots here in Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's a diminutive little forward that has good speed and skill. And uh, I think he'll remind us of Derek Lee a little bit in his ability to play. All right. And then there's a defenseman from De Pere. He plays at uh, Green Bay, Notre Dame, uh, Tim Davison. He'll be coming in next year, too. And it's always nice to have a young man that can yeah. move the puck a little bit. Yeah. And actually, he's playing down with the Chicago Steel right. right now in the USHL. And Tim is a real uh, uh, offensive defenseman in terms of being able to see the ice, move the puck, get his puck, uh, get his shots to the net, and uh, he'll give us that aspect. Plus, he's a right-handed shot, which is something we'll need back in the point next year. All right. Before we talk about Minnesota State, I wanted to ask you about one of your freshmen now, Kevin Scholes, a left-handed defenseman, diminutive, but boy, he showed some things against Minnesota last weekend, didn't he? I mean, uh, if you want to rate performances back-to-back -back nights, he was pretty darn good for us. I think he was excited to play. And sometimes you don't know how that excitedness is going to come out. You either kind of fold a little bit or you rise to the occasion. And he rise to the occasion both nights. He uses skating. He saw the ice well. He moved the puck. And it was fun to watch. I think we got a little glimpse of what we're going to see in the future here. Yeah, that's number 28, Kevin Schultz. Minnesota State in town this weekend. The Mavericks idle last weekend. But the week before, they played Denver to a pair of one-goal games in Mankato. They've always been a rough and tumble type of team. They can really get after you physically, but that was under Troy Judding. They have a new head coach in Mike Hastings, who coached a long time in the USHL in Omaha, then was with Nebraska Omaha. Are they any different than they what they were before? No, we really don't see anything on video uh, that says they're anything different. They, uh, they're they not afraid to take penalties. They play a rough style. They get in your face, and they, they want to do that. They feel that that's the way they need to play to be successful. The one thing about their team that's interesting, they got three guys that are 24 right now, and their freshmen are either 20 or 21. So it, it's an older group of uh, hockey players, and uh, they will compete. Uh, they are they got that man strength, and so for our younger guys, they better ready be ready for that. All right, Wisconsin and Minnesota State Friday and Saturday night. Both games start at 7 o'clock. Friday night on FSN Wisconsin. Saturday on FSN Wisconsin Plus. You can also listen to the radio if you'd like, Badger Sports Network or at badgersportsnetwork.com. For Mike Eves, I'm Brian Posick. Thanks for watching the Badger Hockey Digest brought to you by Charter.